Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? You should be seeing this video sometime during the week of October 16th, 2023. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet a lot. <laughs> I like yarn a lot and I make stitch markers. So please go check out my Etsy shop. It is linked down below in the description box. If you could favorite the shop and favorite a few items, it really does help me out a whole lot. Uh, there will be a 12 days of Christmas holiday slash Christmas ho slash holiday stitch marker calendar that should be uh, coming out uh, sometime like the first week of November, but keep an eye out for a video here on this channel announcing when those will go live as there will only be 20 of them. So I, I do keep getting emails and messages asking if they missed it in the Etsy shop, but no, it's not up there yet. Um, but there will be an announcement here on this channel. So if you want to put your notification bell on, that way you get notified when I put up new videos. Um, anyway, um, I live here in the Chicago area. I have one daughter. Her nickname is Carrots. And yes, like the vegetable. And I have one rescue dog and his name is Camo. Um, so um, there is a domestic violence organization that is also based here in the Chicago area called Wings. And they were one of the only organizations I could find during the pandemic that would accept handmade donations. I do understand that there are lots of places that are accepting handmade donations now because a lot of people who used to donate to Wings are now being able they have the opportunity to donate locally. And they tell me, and I'm so excited for you guys. So if you have a place that you can donate locally, please do so because it helps your community and it saves you on postage shipping, not just to me, but anywhere else that you would like to donate. So my contact over at Wings had created a list of items that she would, would have liked to have received um, based on like the time of the year and the programs that she has going on. So the list was always linked in my description box down below every single video, even if it wasn't a Wings video. And it was also a pinned announcement on the Facebook group. So you could always check at, well, I mean, the year is pretty much over, but we'll do the same thing next year if she wants to keep um, accepting handmade donations. So just make sure you're always checking those lists so you can get your donations in during the right month. So October is the very last month that she is going to accept donations for the year 2023. And what she requested for October were two baby blankets per person and two loveys per person. So you will see what a lovey looks like if you're not sure in this video. And baby blankets, obviously a lot of people have specific sizes they like to make, but she did not request specific sizes. She just wanted baby blankets. So for the total for, this is part two. If you haven't seen part one, go check out part one. Um, there was a total of 16 donations. So I did eight packages in part one and we'll do eight packages in part two. And the only thing I ask is that if you are planning on sending in a baby blanket or a lovey or two, if you would like, um, because it's just because she requested two per person doesn't mean you have to send in two per person. Um, if you can please have those in before the end of October. So don't have it postmarked October 30th or 31st, because then I won't be able to get it over to her. And she really doesn't want to take anything um, other than the regular food and pantry donations after October 31st. So if you could try and get that in way before the end of October, that would be amazing. So we have eight packages for this video and we're just going to get started. Okay. <laughs> Remember, leave a positive comment down below in the, in the comment section. Okay. So the first box that I had is right here and it comes from Jack and Jack is from Indiana and there was no note in the box. So, um, I don't know what to say other than thank you so much. Okay, so there were two baby blankets in the box. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is a scrappy granny stripe blanket. It's so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh, here, I'm gonna show you the other side. It's absolutely beautiful. This is like, you guys, even though it's scrap yarns, it's just gorgeous. There is absolutely nothing wrong with scrap yarn projects. They're so pretty. Look at all those colors. You guys know a baby is going to love, love this. Look at that. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. Jack, thank you so much. Here is another, uh, looks like a scrappy project. 
and this is granny squares. So here, let me just see if I can show you the whole thing. Okay, here we go. So look at that, look at how simple you guys, simple and beautiful. Three really big granny squares and then the border is just a bunch of different colors. It's just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Jack from Indiana, thank you so, so much for sending these beautiful, beautiful baby blankets. I love Scrappy Projects. Those are my favorite blankets to make because you just never know what's gonna come up, right? <laughs> Depending on what you used for all your past projects. So thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, so the next package came from Jen and Jen is from Pennsylvania. And here is the card, hi. And then the back says, bye. <laughs> All right, let's see what Jen writes in the card. Rose, thank you for collecting fur wings from Jen. Oh my gosh, I am so glad that I'm able to collect fur, fur wings from you guys. It's It just makes me feel really good. So it looks like she used, um, she's got Bag o Day Easy Crochet Chevron. And the yarn she used is Big Twist Classic, which looks like that. And the color is called Sage. So we're going to check out this blanket. Oh my gosh, it is so, so soft, you guys. <gasps> wow. Okay, so here, let me fold this in half. Um, here we go. So this is the blanket, and it might be kind of hard to see the chevrons. I don't know, for some reason the light is, it's definitely, there we go, that's the color. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love, love, love that. So again, that's called the Easy Crochet Chevron from Crystal at Bag o Day. So if you guys want to try that you can give it a whirl. Oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you so much, Jen, for sending the baby blanket. It's super, super soft. I really, really do appreciate it. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, so the next package didn't actually get delivered to me. Um, we have a good friend of the channel. Guess what her name is? Her name is Rose and uh, she is one of my best customers in my Etsy shop and she's also a top contributor to wings like she just every month she contributes something um, so she went on my Etsy shop and she purchased two of my lovies and asked me not to ship them to her but instead to donate them to wings so I want to show you the two that she picked out oh my gosh which I love them because of course, because I made them, but I just love them because they're just so cute. Okay, so this is a kitty cat and it's so appropriate for like Halloween, right? I don't know when they're gonna give these out, I think at Christmas time, but I absolutely love this one. It's like uh, one of those Day of the Dead characters. It's so cute and look at its body. It's so cute. I love it, Rose. I'm so happy you picked that one out. And the other one she picked was Rowan the dog. He is a pirate. Arr, rough. <laughs> I don't know how he says it, but here is Rowan the pirate. He's adorable. So Rose picked out these two from my Etsy shop, and these two will be going to the little people at Wings. So Rose, thank you so much for supporting me in my Etsy shop and supporting all the people at Wings. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, so the next package came from Anna and Anna is from Minnesota and this is the card that I got. Isn't that beautiful? This is the back. I love that. Let's see what she writes here. Okay, she says cat free home, which I saw that when I took this out of the package. This is what the the Ziploc bag said on both of the Ziploc bags. So I'm highly allergic to cats. So if you do send something and you have cats, if you could keep it in a bag and just leave me a note so I know that there's cats involved. Okay, she says, hello, enclosed are two baby blankets for October. The striped one is a pattern for No Fuss Baby Blanket by Creative Grandma. And the yarn is Lion Brand Ice Cream from uh, Lion Brand Ice Cream and the trim is Premier Anti-Pilling DK. Oh my gosh, is that so pretty. I just love those colors, you guys. And then look at the border. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It's like a really gorgeous Pico border. Oh my gosh. I love it. It looks like arrows. So pretty. And this is super, super soft. Okay, and then she says... 
Uh, the shell blanket is from an old Hirschner blue ribbon Afghan book. The yarn is Premier Everyday DK Dots and DK Anti-Pill for Trim. Thanks, Rose. First time donation from Anna. Yay, thank you so much, Anna. These are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so here's the shells one. Oh my gosh, is that so pretty. I know you guys can see that, right? So she said this is the dots, the anti-pilling premier dots. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that. And then here is the border, the Pico border. These are just beautiful. Anna, thank you so much for making a donation for the first time. Even those of you who make donations all the time, I appreciate each and every one of you so much. Um, and it was super awesome to be at the coat drive yesterday and have people grab coats that will keep them warm this winter. So, and hats and scarves. <laughs> so, Anna, thank you so much. These are absolutely beautiful. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys. So the next donation was not actually delivered by the post office. It was hand delivered to me by my local friend, Carolyn. So hi, Carolyn. Um, we, we all hung out, uh, I don't know, a week or two ago. And that's our week ago. And they dropped off um, their donations for September, October. So uh, all right. So here is the baby blanket that we were all supposed to do a crochet along with. This was all Carolyn's idea. And I even talked about it on one of my yarn yakin videos. And then craft, craft fair season started and I was, I couldn't, I just couldn't make any baby blankets cause I was making stuff for the craft fair. And believe it or not, this ball of yarn that she used is a mandala bonus bundle. And I actually convinced her to buy the yarn. <laughs> And I have yet to start this baby blanket and I don't remember what the pattern was. Carolyn, I know you watch the channel. So if you could leave a comment and put down what the, what the uh, pattern was that we're all supposed to use that everyone else has started on or completed, except for me, I have not started on it. Anyway, this is the, one of the baby blankets <laughs> for the crochet along that I never did. So um, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. I can't wait to actually make it. I think it's gorgeous. And thank you so much for making it and then giving it to us for wings. <laughs> this is the other blanket. And it's, I don't know what it, let me see what it says. Love, faith, hope, love, faith. Oh my gosh. It's like a fleecy blanket, which will be totally awesome. Maybe even for a bigger kid and it's got a little bow on it. So Carolyn, thank you so much for, for, um, yeah, making me feel like <laughs> a loser here. One day I will have time to make a baby blanket after the first week of December, when all the craft fairs are over, then I can really start buckling down and making like my, my blankets. That's my blanket time. So thank you so much, Carolyn. <laughs> all right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, so the next donation was also hand delivered to me at the same time as those other baby blankets. <laughs> so these are from Paula and Philip, and they are a uh, mean, lean crocheting duo machine. <laughs> they always are donating. If it's not to wings, they're donating to something, and I really appreciate all three of you. Um, your friendship is amazing to me. So Paula and Philip have two loveys each here, so I'm going to show you the loveys, and I'm pro I was probably with them every time they bought one of these stuffed animals. <laughs> so here is one of them. So two of them are from Paul, Paula and two of them are from Philip. So here is an adorable pink teddy bear. I love, love, love this color pink. Oh my gosh. And then we have this guy right here. Oh my God, he's so cute. This is, uh, what is this guy? He is a farm animal. He looks like a, like a giraffe. It just says soft farm animal. It doesn't say what he is, but to me, he looks like a giraffe or maybe it's a cow. It may be a cow. You know, little kids sometimes when you, when they come up to my booth, when, when I'm at craft fairs and they um, are looking at the loveys, sometimes it'll be very obvious that it's a cat and they're like, oh, that's a, a dog. And it's like, whatever you want it to be. <laughs> so for me, I guess this is a cow <laughs> and look at his little legs. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here is the next one. Just of teddy bear. I love the yellow and the little bow. Oh my gosh, so adorable. And then, oh my gosh, <laughs> look at this guy. It's a Care Bear. Let's see which one he is. 
Oh, it's like a rainy day. Oh, that's so sad. He looks so sad. Um, this is beautiful. I absolutely love this. And then um, Philip also gave me some hats and they were six sets of kids hats and of course like i said in the previous video anyone who had hats and scarf sets um in these sets of donations i took them over to wings but i did take a picture of the hats that um philip gave me and they were six kid sets so hats and scarf sets or hat and cowl sets so i'm going to insert the picture of that right here All right, you guys. So thank you so much for uh, to Paula, Philip, and Carolyn, my local Yarny friends, for meeting up with me and hand delivering um, Wings donations. I appreciate you guys a lot. So the last package that we have for this video is from Kim, and she is from Georgia. And I have a note here, and it says, Hi, Rose, two lovies for the children at Wings. These are one of my favorite things to crochet. Many blessings from Kim. P.S. We have a camo kitty. So... Um, she did put them in Ziploc bags. They didn't close all the way, but you know what? Here, I'm going to see if I can get them closed. And then I will show you what, what she sent. So I'm not going to hold them out of the bag since she said she has a cat. But here is the first one. It's a sloth. And you can see the really pretty um, colors of the yarn. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. Kim, I would love to know what this yarn is. It's gorgeous. It's got red in it too. And then here is the other one, which I'm gonna try and seal this. So no kitty cat hairs get in my nose. And this is a monkey. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. And this doesn't look like it's, um, this looks like you color controlled it because there's a couple different colors there. Isn't that beautiful? Kim, thank you so much for sending these two lovies for the little people at Wings. I really, really do appreciate it. So I'm going to get these all bagged up and um, hopefully we will have at least one or two more videos for the month of October. So remember, if you want to donate for October, have them in before, way before the end of the month. And it is two baby blankets, any size that you want per person and two lovies. And they can be however you want to make your lovies. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a positive comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.